Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My bag is dry and now I am going to show you what to do next. We are making this really cool tree bag and we are going to now separate the bag so that later we can twist parts into branches. Let's get started. You will notice that there are folds right here on the bag. Some folds fold out, some of the folds fold in like this. And what we want to do is we want to tear the inside bag and the outside bag at the same time to the best of our ability. If they are not lined up and this does not work, it's okay because we're making a tree and a tree is from nature, tree branches go everywhere and they are not perfect looking. We're tearing all the way down to this line that you see right here. This is where the bottom folded up and stopped. This is also where, when we were coloring the inside bag, it's the line where we stopped coloring. So if you fold and you see this, that part right there, that's where you stop tearing. You do not want to tear all the way to the bottom. Okay, let me show you. I'm going to start with a big, strong, folded, creased corner. And I'm going to tear from the top, tearing the inside and outside bag. So see, I've got two right there. And look where my hands are. I'm right next to where I am tearing and I move my hands. I don't just grab and rip and pull really hard. That would definitely not be in control of what I'm doing. I'm controlling what I'm doing. I'm in charge. I'm not letting the bag be in charge. Now look, I got a little off the line. So you know what you do? You use your hands, steer the tear, try to pull it back. See how I pulled the tear back to the line? Just do your best and stop when you get to that marking. Just stopped right there. Okay, let's do another big corner. Oops, off of the line. Try to steer it back, but I'm gonna stop right there anyways. You can be tearing with me. Okay, pause the video right here and then finish tearing those four sides and I'll show you what comes next. The next thing you're going to do is tear the two side parts of the bag on the inside folds. Let's try to tear this in half. So you see how I'm holding? I'm pulling one forward and holding one in place. And I stop when I get there to the bottom, uh, well, to the line, not the bottom of the bag. Flip it over and do the other side and then pause again. Okay, pause right here. Now this is the thickness that you want a branch to be before you twist it. So this one's done, good job. This one's done, good job. Uh-oh, wait a minute, that looks too thick. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna tear this into three different strips. One, two, three. One on this side, there'll be one in the middle, and then there'll be one on the side. Now, if that's a little too hard and you wanna do it into four, you can do that too. I'm gonna show you two different ways you can do it. So watch, and then you decide, you ready? This is in three different parts. Think about a middle one right here. I'm gonna just grab this, hold it and pull straight down. Stop when you get to the line. That one's easier to pull straight down. And then over here, you gotta hold it carefully. Sometimes you have to adjust your hand and move, pull to the line. Okay, so see that three different strips. One, two, three. And I did the inside one too, so I'm all done. 
I'm gonna flip the bag over and show you how to make four, if you want to make four. This is gonna be more branches and it's gonna be more twisting if you want a tree that has more of that. It's a little more work, but it gives it lots more detail. This, you would rip in half first. Make sure you do the inside and the outside bag. Then you rip the halves in half. This makes them more thin than the ones you did on the other side. Okay, you did it. So that is how you tear your bag to prep it to get ready to make branches. All right, great job. I'll see you next time.